So this is the classic mistake that most DIYers make and even some really bad contractors. Is your deck about to fall apart? We're gonna show you today the warning signs of the worst case scenario deck so that if you ever decide to build one or you wanna check out your own deck to see if your life is in danger. So today I'm here with my friend Nils from the Learn to DIY channel. We'll put a link to his channel down below. You gotta go check his out. But we're gonna examine this deck here and we're going to show you everything that's wrong with it. Follow this support pole. This is a four by four post. It goes all the way up to the top there and you can see the mistake mistake they made is it's supporting one of the floor planks up there instead of supporting underneath these beams here which these aren't even right here this probably should be sistered up this is a classic amateurish mistake on decks and stairs so on the left we can see how they incorrectly had the post come up underneath the deck planks but what's really supposed to happen is on the right where the support post is supposed to come up underneath the floor joist which then supports the deck so that the point load goes from the deck planks down down through the joist, down through the post, to ground. All right, so Nils, as I look up here and I see this strange feature here, what do you make of this one here? These are, this is a wrap, it looks like. I saw actually on the other side. Let's take a look around the other side. This is insane. They, rather than getting the proper size beam here, they actually used too short of one, and then they just put a little stub of another one and just sat it on top and figured they could wrap this, which I'm guessing is like door casing or something around it, just to hold it in place. This thing is beat to all get out, just cracked and split and warped, and then that's just sitting on there held on by this wrapping around it. That is bad. So this is perfect redneck engineering at its finest. And Nils, take a look at this where they sistered up these support boards here for the cross brace. Oh what do you think about this? I don't think that's the right size. No, these are way too short for this. These are ought to be two by eights at least. And then, man, this thing is in bad shape. I'm also noticing the planks above are not properly spaced. You got big gaps, little gaps, not holding on. Yeah, a stiletto could easily get caught right in there. A yeah. lady walking across there in a party, boom. Yeah, we like always a... hear about accidents and balcony collapses at parties. I can imagine a kid's whole foot sliding through this yep. gap. This thing is huge. That's got to be over an inch. Yeah. And I question whether they put enough nails in these to system them together. Right. There's only two vertical nails at each location, and I think there should be three. Check out this part over here. This is whole thing is coming down. It's separated from all of the floor planks, and it's coming off of our side uh, joist here. This thing is not safe in any way, shape, or form. And so this, you can see this was systematic across the board here, literally, yeah. pun intended. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh man, oh it's wiggly. It's not even connected. It's, not even, it's not even supporting anything. It's not touching anything there. So something cuckoo went on here, folks. So you can see how these screws, there's, there's all that space and everything, and they're just really weird the way that's done. Jeff, check this out. They actually have some hooks here for hanging. Oh my gosh, listen to it. I can hear it creaking you can hear when the I creaking. do that. Man, imagine actually trying to sit like a swing or something on here. Oh, that, that would be deadly, news. man. <laughs> this is all held together by fasteners and screws. Yeah. And nothing is actually sitting on top of a support beam or a post yeah. here. So if you do this on your own deck and you hang your own swing, do us a favor, please. Put up a ring camera and capture it <laughs> so that your ending demise would provide entertainment for us. And then hashtag Jeff Ostrom on the... Uh... <laughs> yeah. This is probably the most important component of your whole deck is the ledger board. And this is where a lot of people get it wrong. I know this is undersized. What do you think? Yeah, this is too small, just like everything else on this deck. Yeah, and when you connect the ledger board also, you are allowed to go up to that metal flashing, but you can't go against like this. So at least they did that part sort of correct. But look at the fasteners they used. They did not use the required lag bolts with the washers. Those are key. They're required by code, and it's there for a reason. Jeff, check this out. They actually, not only that, but look at where they drove nails. There's no consistency. Like you've got these ones a foot apart, yeah. those ones two, two something. And so I don't think they're even hitting studs. I don't think they're hitting a beam behind there or anything. That's probably just going into the OSB behind the flash. Yeah, that would be bad because OSB is weak, especially if it ever got damp, it would be even weaker. And then you can see they didn't bother to do anything or terminate the top right. of the vinyl properly here. So any water that gets in from underneath this deck is going to run behind your vinyl siding and get in here. And if you have wood behind here, well, there goes your house. It's well, going to start rotting. You got, you got these open gaps yeah. right here where it's all just pouring right down into all of this yep. inside the walls. And this right here is my personal favorite. I've never seen anything like this before. On this last baluster post here, they cut into the vinyl siding in order to put this post in here. I've never seen anything like that. Why not just end it? right here at the edge of the vinyl now you don't have to cut it so now you're allowing water and egress into your house now that can't be good and I'm surprised that this house could even get any kind of insurance and it can't possibly pass any inspection bowing of the planks like here you can see it bows right in the middle there 
What do you think, Nails? Can I just get you to step in that really soft spot right over there? I'm gonna hang onto this door handle for dear life. Look at these guys, they're coming right off. And look at this, they had to brace this here to probably keep this entire fence up. And then here on the other side, they did the same thing. That is just very strange that somebody would think to do something this unbelievable like this. And I am really digging this door here. Yeah. Look at that on the gate there. Yeah, this is ironic because the previous owner of this house installs doors for a living and builds doors. It gets much worse than this, folks. And we're gonna show you the back part here. But we're gonna do that over on Nils's channel. So go check this video out right over here over on Nils's channel right now.